Once you've mastered the process, how you need to work through stuff, the rest becomes the soft skills. And the first one says ask versus tell. As a facilitator, you never tell anybody anything except when do we start, when do we finish. We ask questions. Now you can ask leading questions. So the actors here would be the order taker, the system, and the customer. Is that right? I ask a lot of leading questions for stuff that's simple. Rather than force them to think through it, I give them the answer, but always in the form of a question. And I say, is that right? Because then they can nod their head up and down or they can say no. Listen, listen, listen. <clears throat> this may be the hardest thing um, to do. Understand that our sessions normally run from 9 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon. And uh, I have to actively listen for four and a half to five hours a day. You cannot take mental breaks because you never know when somebody's going to say something important. The important part there is what to listen for. Focusing the group's attention. You need to write stuff down so that they can see it and so that you, they can ensure that you got what they said correctly and you can use it as your reference to get everybody to agree and to build on stuff. I think you see how the use case structure, that primary scenario level, is the template for everything I do thereafter. Once I've got that skeleton, the rest is putting the, the meat in, on the bones. Summarize discussions. <clears throat> you ask a question and three people provide an answer. Let me summarize what I think I heard the group say. When something happens, somebody does something with some information. Is that correct? And I write down those words. Follow your process. <clears throat> this was the discussion I had yesterday morning. Um, people will push back. I guarantee it. Because they're not used to doing this. And they don't want to make the... the uh, Make the time available to do the level of detail that we need to do. Do not let them push you off the process. It's not the process that's the problem, it's the culture. We need to change the culture because the process works. 1,600 times, it works. Guarantee you. Be sensitive to your participants. So understand when they're struggling. Understand when they need a break. Understand when um, you should stop. There are points in sessions where I stop early because the energy level has gone out of the room and, and people are tired, and so I stop. Keep focused and on track. What that means is you have to have a plan. And we didn't do the planning piece, but you need to have a plan. How do you know if you're on track if you don't have a plan? So thank you for uh, putting up with me. I trust you got tons of good information and uh, look forward to uh, working with you in your future.